The Statue of Liberty, the American symbol of freedom, and one of New York's most famous tourist attractions. If you've got just one chance to see it, how do you do it right? In today's video, we're going to explore the statue from both the outside and the inside. I'm inside the Statue of Liberty right now. Like somebody wake me up from this dream. <laughs> to show you the view from the crown on a snowy January day, and we'll cap it all off with a trip to Ellis Island. We're gonna explain exactly how it's done. Most important thing is that if you wanna to go to the crown of the Statue of Liberty, you need to go to the following website at least one to two months out. In the summer, it might even be three or four months. I say, if you're gonna do the Statue of Liberty, you've gotta do it right. We reserve these tickets in November. First time in the year was five years ago and I haven't done it, so I'm excited. So we were about to walk to airport style security to board the boat and guess what? It's starting to snow, the first snowfall of 2020, right as we go to the Statue of Liberty. I mean, I don't think we could have timed it any better. off on this snowy snowy afternoon I don't know if we're gonna see the statue very well with all this cloud cover and snow but uh, we're gonna do our best guys that was really cool it was like the statue just appeared out of the mist it's kind of like being in an old sailor movie It was really touching to hear some tourists on the boat saying, oh my god, that's it, I've only seen that in movies. And it makes me realize that even as a New Yorker, I take things like this for granted, not visiting the Statue of Liberty ever until right now. And what a lot of people don't realize is that the pedestal was built by the U.S. And a lot of that money was raised from the general public. $100,000 was raised from the general public. A lot of it donations as small as one dollar. So the U.S. is very proud of the Statue of Liberty. I don't feel my toes. I don't feel my toes. <laughs> Very important, if you have a ticket for the crown or the pedestal, you have to use one of these lockers, 25 cents. Uh, you can't bring a tripod up there. Uh, you can only bring, I believe, a cell phone, water bottle, and a camera. So they keep it uh, pretty spartan because they don't want people to waste a lot of time there. We are through our second security screening, just trying to avoid slipping. We are heading towards the pedestal, the first stop on our way crown of the Statue of Liberty. We've got a lot of steps to go, you'll see. You have a choice. You could take 195 steps to get to the pedestal, or you could take an elevator. No surprise the elevator had a line. No line to take the stairs, but I've made so many poor dietary decisions lately, I'm gonna take the stairs for sure. All right, I'm starting to re-examine this decision to take the stairs, but 128 more to go. We made it to the pedestal. Look how foggy New York City is right now. Oh, thank you very much. So you, you can actually get tickets just for the pedestal and one of the draws of the pedestal, which unfortunately isn't very good today, is you have a great view of Manhattan, but I just showed you, you can barely see a thing. However, you can kind of peek at the statue from below. It's beautiful. I think the fact that it's snowing makes it very magic. It doesn't matter if I don't see the city. This is so cool. All right, this is what we've been waiting for. 146 steps to get to the crown. Guys, look how small these steps are. Now I understand why they didn't want us to bring bags or anything up here. These steps are so narrow. <laughs> this is kind of trippy. I'm inside the Statue of Liberty right now. 
Like somebody wake me up from this dream. <laughs> Guys, little known fact, Alexander Gustav Eiffel designed the interior of the Statue of Liberty. That name may be familiar because three years after the Statue of Liberty opened, the Eiffel Tower opened in Paris. So it's got that touch. Covered in snow today, which is very nice. Guys, we can see the torch. We can see the tablet. Oh my goodness. This has got to be one of the coolest places to be in New York City. Especially on a snowy day. Especially on a snowy day. That's so cool. If you're claustrophobic, this is not for you. Guys, that's the hair. When did they build this staircase to the crown? You know, this was modified in the 80s. So there was an old, have you ever been in a lighthouse like Cape Hatteras? Yeah. Or kind of the old staircase where you, they had cr kind of crates. You could, they had holes and you could see all the way down. I will say the stairs to the crown were a lot trickier than I thought because of the angle and how narrow they were, but the park rangers at the top were so friendly, they answered all our questions. There's not a lot of space, you can't really stay for too long, but completely worth it. Don't you guys go anywhere though, we're going to show you around some other cool things at the Statue of Liberty, and then we're going to Ellis Island. Our weather was perfect today, we got the snow, so look, we have this cool backdrop and now it's cleared, and we have this beautiful view of Manhattan over my right shoulder. I mean, we couldn't have planned a better day for sightseeing at the Statue of Liberty than today, guys. It's amazing. This is probably the best spot to take a photo of the Statue of Liberty. You line yourself right up in front, like, like this. sleep on this museum right here. We had a chance to walk around. It only opened in May. A lot of people don't even realize that it's here. I mean, you could see how the statue was constructed. Uh, you see the original torch, which was taken down in 1984, and they have this cool interactive exhibit where you take a photo, say where you're from, and they put you on the big screen. So, yeah. A part of you will always live on in the museum. Very nice. And now, we are heading to Ellis Island. You have to think of the historical significance of this right now. 12 million immigrants came to Ellis Island and one of the first things they saw in the United States was a Statue of Liberty staring at them just like this. say that Ellis Island has some significance for me since my family immigrated to the United States from Ukraine in the late 1970s. Now they didn't come through here, they flew. But just think about all the immigration in the U.S. and how many people have roots that started where we're about to walk through, right through these doors. We're in the registry room. I actually haven't been to Ellis Island since I was in elementary school. And I don't know why, but I always think of the scene from The Godfather Part 2 when Vito Corleone comes to the US when I think of Ellis Island. It's just, I love that movie. But seriously, this room is really, really important in the history of the United States. This is where people's lives were changed if they were admitted to live here or not. All right, I'm sitting at the admission counter. What do you think, guys? Should I admit her to the United States? Purpose, purpose of visit? I want to, I don't know. <laughs> you want to open up a cupcake shop? Yes, and I want to eat all the cupcakes. Okay, admitted. I want to eat all the cupcakes in the US. Admitted. <laughs> You'd be absolutely crazy not to come to Ellis Island. It's free, included with your Statue of Liberty admission. Learn about the history of the United States. The exhibits here are incredible. I learned so much that I didn't even know before. Guys, tell me down below in the comments what you thought of this video. Are you gonna visit the Statue of Liberty? Have you visited before? All that good stuff. Check out our other New York City playlist, link down below as well. Thank you so much for watching. As always, until next time.